Luma Step M2 light up power boards we're going to be installing today on the 2019 Ram Rebel 1500. So if you're looking for a install video, you found one. And also I'm going to give you guys my initial impressions, what I think of it so far and how it pretty much looks on the truck. So uh, I'm excited for this video. Let's jump right into it. But if you're new here, my name is Jeffrey. Hey, what's up? We love doing things on trucks, off-roading, camping, travel trailers, and a whole bunch of car stuff. So if you're interested in any of this type of content, check out my channel. But with that out of the way, I do want to give a big shout out to Boosted Auto for sending over these power steps to, to me for this install video. And I do want to mention now with this install, I'm just a normal guy doing this inside of my garage. So if I could do it, you can definitely do it for sure. I'm not using anything special, any special tools. I'm using basically like hand tools to do this. So if I could do it, you can definitely do it. Don't be intimidated. It may seem like it's a lot, but it's not it's not that much to do. I had a normal side step installed on the truck. I just undid that last night. As you can see, my old setup is right there on one side. I have to still take off the other side. Everything comes inside two boxes. So you have the actual powered boards and then all the mounting brackets. So I kind of have everything laid out, what I need. And I'm using some, uh, I guess, like trays for all the bolts and everything like that. Okay, cool. When it comes down to the mounting brackets, you have the driver front, another rear, and then you have the uh, passenger. And this is the passenger rear as well. Those are gonna be the actual brackets that go onto the truck. Now, we're gonna be getting into everything. There is a relocation mount for another thing. So, you know what, let's, let's jump right into the install. Let's stop me yapping. Let's get into this install. First thing I'm doing is uninstalling my old uh, step stool. I will say underneath the truck, it does look great. You gotta love Cali California trucks. There is not a speck of rust underneath here. This body is in great condition. both sides now taken off of the old step. What we have to do right now is install the new mounting brackets. So as you can see, I'm gonna start on the passenger side. You can see this is the driver front, one of the rears. I'm gonna be using this guy. This is the passenger front. So there's gonna be three mounting holes that's gonna be going up where the existing one was at. So you can see how if I look at like a, the other one, this, bracket that's where that's gonna go now there is a slight problem with that so i am right now underneath the vehicle this is the rear this is the front this is where the front bracket will go this is where the front bracket will go you'll see three mounting points this guy is in the way for most trucks. So there is a relocation mount for this that we have to basically disconnect this, move this out the way so that the front bracket can go right here. So in your kit, you should come with these two guys. This is for if you have that uh, piece and this is the hardware for it. So for this part, we're gonna be disconnecting some cables and everything like that. So I'm gonna disconnect the battery I'm gonna just disconnect the uh, negative terminal real quick. So I am underneath the vehicle again. This time I'm on. I'm staying on the passenger side of the vehicle. This is the dampener that needs to be removed. These connectors. It may be a little tricky, but what you have to do, push down and up at the bottom, and you should be able to release it. So there's one, should be two. Uh, it may be a little hard, but if you look at the pin or the connector, it's this part right here. Pull or push on that kind of hard, it should pull out. You may have to fiddle with it for a second, but they will come out. So once you got that out, these four bolts, as you'll see, one, two, 
three. And there's another one over there. You take those guys out. And you will be able to remove this whole dampener out. Cool, once you have all four out, this guy should come out. Let me make sure it's not attached. Oh, okay, yeah, there is. So let me remove this. Uh, it's like a little zip tie. If you have like a trim removal piece or a trim removal tool, you can use that to pop that out. But let me uh, put the camera down so I can do this real quick. Now that we have this off, this is the bracket that you're going to need. You just, your kit should come with two of them. L for left, R for right. Right is the uh, passenger, L is the driver. I have this bracket right here. You're going to be reusing these four mounts or these four bolts that came off of this guy. They're going to be being reinstalled back into the vehicle there. You're going to have a little casing like this. You're going to take four of these guys, these lock-in bolts. So they're going to be going in like so. Do is get this guy prepped. Basically with these bolts, you're going to be reinstalling this piece back onto there. Okay, cool. So as you can see, this is the way it goes. So the flat part's gonna go up against this. If this is the rear of the vehicle, and over here is the front, it's gonna go this way. So I mounted this piece first before I put it back in here, but do note, this is kind of heavy, so you might wanna Joel, just, just be prepared for that. So I'm just gonna tighten this down, and this would go a lot easier if I had a powered, uh, like ratchet, this will go a lot easier and a lot faster, but once again, I'm using hand tools. So for sure, if I'm doing it, you can do it. Okay, so now that we have both sides done and taken care of, we're jumping into the front bracket. So this is driver front. This is passenger front. Okay, cool. So I know this may look confusing, the angle I'm at, because I had to flip the camera, but this is the passenger side. So, yeah, the part that's labeled passenger front and passenger rear, that part is actually going to be uh, going to be up at the top. So, I'm just going to kind of get this kind of on here for right now, tighten it. Like, not even fully, but just like a little bit. Just so I want this, just so this doesn't like move around a ton. And I'm gonna need to use this guy. Cause I can't fit the other thing in there. So, like I said before, I'm doing things the old fashioned way. Also, I know I mentioned it before, but my goodness, this truck is so clean underneath here. There is not an ounce of rust. I'm just so used to trucks coming from the East Coast, man. Oof. These California trucks. This bad boy's clean. Okay, cool. So, <laughs> took me a second to kind of figure this out. So this, don't be intimidated by what I'm about to go over. So, there's going to be two giant, uh, I guess you would say, electrical wire wiring harnesses. So, the main one is going to come inside the mounting bracket box. It's going to look like this. It's going to have on the bottom, it's going to say the... It's going to have these type of connectors on the bottom. One's going to say driver's side motor, passenger side motor. So, we're going to have to route these down through the firewall to where the uh, motor is for the mechanism. So, these sides are going to have to go. That's why they're saying if you have like a straight piece of metal of some sort, like a hanger, it would help kind of push it through. So this part is going to go down to the bottom. And then also the box with the running boards, you're going to have two different wiring harnesses in there as well. So the one that's going to go on the driver's side has this connector. There's like a power and a negative and all this. You need to send this side down through the firewall to get to the driver's side motor. So, driver's side motor, driver's side motor. These two have to go in. The rest of it's gonna be sticking out still towards the battery. So, with that being said, let me get some type of piece of metal. I might use like a hanger of some sort, like a metal hanger 
and uh, stick it through. So let's do that. I'm gonna snake this over to the passenger side. This is actually nice that it's already kind of wrapped up. Gotta figure out the best way to route this. I don't want this to get anywhere near anything hot. So let me see how I wanna route this. How far? We got a lot of slack actually, so can really go crazy with this. Probably might have to go up in this cow, I'm assuming. We'll see. Okay, actually surprisingly, I haven't, I haven't really needed a metal piece. I've been able to just kind of snake it down over the wheel well. So let's see this piece. So this guy's gonna go down as well for the passenger side. So the one thing I think is kind of weird, you have to unplug on the motor. There is the little spot where these guys will go. There's like two pieces that are connected together. You have to unplug it from one side. This goes into the motor. I'm assuming the other side will go into the running board itself. So this is the passenger side one. So I have to snake this side down here. Uh oh, I'm just literally by the wheel well, pushing it down. I mean, it would make it easier if I did have a piece of metal, but eh, I'm able to get it done. Go on my tippy toes, kind of like just have enough leverage to get down there. But so as I'm underneath the vehicle, what I'm going to do is. Grab this piece. And the thing I was talking about is this guy right here. So I'm disconnecting this. So right there, right there. Now this goes in here. One. And then two. So this piece is gonna be let out. Ugh. Okay, we're getting stuff done. Oh, we're gonna need now the main control hub. So that's this piece right here. We're gonna need this to plug everything else in too. So we have access to the headlight. So, oh, this is like not even there. Wow. <laughs> Never realized that on my passenger side, this is completely gone, but what you're gonna to have to do, what you're gonna to have to do, I did it on the driver's side, unbolt this to get kind of access to this. You have to roll this back. I think this is an eight millimeter for this size. There's gonna be a couple clips though too. So you have to basically get access to the bottom of the headlight. I'm going to still take out a couple of these so I can roll this down. Just a little bit more. Okay, to get access to where your wiring harness for your headlight it is kind of hard to get, kind of hard to see. So it's up in here. So I think it's kind of, yeah, there it is. I'm just reaching into the dark right now. Oh my God. I literally can't see. I'm just holding the camera with one hand and then doing this with the other hand. Oh yeah. And that should pop out, hopefully. There we go. There we go. And I have the 16 LED one. So there goes mine. As you see, it's kind of connected to this guy and this is on the passenger side. And then just to show you guys, what the driver's side looks like. This is more of an accurate representation of what you gotta do. I unbolted right here, unbolted a couple right there, and then I was able to get access to this guy. So this is the 16. So, so now I'm going over to the kit. I have the plug and play kit right here. So I need to get a spot so I can get all this stuff organized. So let's do that now. Actually, so pretty much, yeah, you plug one side into, I believe you have to just plug one side into the 
uh, kit. Then the other side, over to the other wire. All right, so I'm gonna just take this guy. I'm on the passenger side right now. So, this side, basically, this side will go into here. And the other side will go back into the headlight. And it's, God, it's hard to see. Oh, my earpod. We got this guy. Okay, there we go. And then just a note. So this cable right here is going to be the uh, other cable that we put down on, on the passenger side. So this cable right here, this end, you have to snake back down and connect it to that uh, headlight. I don't want to confuse you guys. So there's going to be two wiring harnesses that are just going to be putting down the passenger side and on the driver's side. With the passenger side of this, the main one, this main one, which is connected to all of it. And I did just plug this guy into the big main harness. The one, which is going to be this guy, it's going to be going down as well. The one end is going to be connected to the headlight. And you're going to have another piece that's going to be right there. So yeah, so you have to connect both of those guys up. And there's going to be one white cable that's going to be still up at this point in time. Cool. So the other thing I had to do, so on the passenger side, this extra wire, it was the white wire. You have to ring that over back to the driver's side and connect it to the other white connector over here. So where is it at? Ah, here we go, right there. So these two are connected. Now, I have the rock light kit. So this has its own separate wiring harness as well. <laughs> My goodness, underneath the hood, it's starting to look like spaghetti. So I, I didn't uh, button up everything yet because I wanted to make sure everything works. And then I'm gonna button up everything and kind of get it all in the right place. But I'll show you guys. So yeah, this is the wiring harness kit. So, basically these two white wires are gonna plug into the headlight harness. So if you notice on the headlight, there was an extra little uh, wire uh, that you can plug something into. This is what this is gonna go into. So these two things, the short side goes to the driver and the long goes to the passenger. And, this this is gonna have to go through the firewall and go through your dash somewhere. I'm gonna mount mine probably down low. And this is the uh, power connector. So it's gonna go towards the battery. So it's a pretty simple setup. When this is engaged, this shall override the functionality of the running board. So they, they, they should basically just turn like white. So when this is installed, and this is turned on, this will basically turn the circuit and make it all white. I think that would look sick, so uh, really happy I got this kit. So, let's get this part installed. So, one thing I'm realizing, the headlight kit is actually like right here. I have access to it, so. It's literally like right here. So I can just basically this part that's right here, it's in my hand. You have to put the white wire in there and crimp it down. Oh, look, it even came with like a little piece that I can do that. Just stick that there. Oh yeah, cool, day two of this install. Uh, last night, I just kind of packed everything up and just uh, had to just come in, it was getting too dark, so. I have about half an hour this morning before I have to uh, finish up other stuff. I have to still snake this part through the dashboard and the other part through, I believe it's like all of this. So it has to go through the firewall. The footwell down there has got to go through. So just pull it up. So yeah, so we have to finish that part off real, real quick but also the 5.0 is sick.
guys, so we're almost at the finish line now. This process has taken, it was about two days. Uh, I could have probably finished it last night, but moving on to day two. So, getting the wiring harness and everything kind of tucked away nicely, that was difficult. Just trying to figure out how's the best way to do it. I think I got it at least decent. It could be, be better, I'm not gonna lie to you, but I think it's decent. And then also getting the grommet in the footwell, trying to get enough room to stick the wires through. God, that almost killed me, but we got it done. So now finishing touches, we have to get the running board installed. So before I get the running board installed, the carriage bolts, I have to put them on the running boards before I can install them in the places where the, uh, I guess, brackets are on the truck. Look, these are the running boards. Hey guys, I have to show you <laughs> the test. It works, so that's good to know. <laughs> so, keeping that one open. This one's open. So it's, both of them are open. Now, bringing over the one. The boost auto sign should be in the front. So this is the passenger side one. Put the carriage bolts kind of where they need to be. Now we have to just line it up. So I'm gonna line it up first. I also have this other like little uh, bracket that you could put, I'll show you guys. Just these guys on top of the mounts. So use that, line that up, give it like a little bit more space. And then we'll be in business. So let me get this first one installed. Let me get the one side in first, and then I'll do the other side, maybe. Let's see if that works. Going. I'm gonna close it. Cool. Let me just tighten down all of these bolts now. Now the fun part is going to be getting all these, all of this stuff nice and uh, tucked away. I got at least underneath the, uh, underneath the hood, all that's tightened up. Just got to get these fender wells nice and buttoned up and all these wires. Right Okay guys, I figured I would come on here and give you guys my updates and what I think about everything about this kit so far. So first and foremost, I think it's sick. I absolutely love it. I love the fact that I finally have a powered step. So when I open up the door, it opens up, closes it, it closes back up and it tucks away. I think that's really cool. It really does elevate the truck overall. It kind of makes it have a more premium feel. Also, the rock lights, I'm definitely seeing the potential for these things, especially when we're off-roading or if we're camping or something like that. I could turn those on. It gives us a lot of light. And uh, yeah, also, I think even for a safety feature, just on the highway, I like the fact that when you turn the blinkers on, it illuminates the whole side and it blinks as well. I think that's pretty cool. So yeah, there's no excuse for anyone else to be like, they didn't see me, you know, getting over. So I definitely like that. But one thing I do want to mention is I was having some issues with my kit. Uh, it was totally like a user error. Shout out to the people at Boosted Auto for helping me troubleshoot this. One of the connectors, they were backwards. So on the passenger side, I had the wiring harness uh, on the passenger side. Just one of the connectors, they were just uh, clicked in backwards. Once I figured out that passenger side that started working as well, at first, only the driver's side was lighting up and the passenger side wasn't. But once I figured that out, it, uh, it's been working flawless ever since then. So yeah, I'm really excited that we have this installed on the truck right now. I'm gonna be doing a updated video a little bit down the line once I've had a little bit more time with it just to give you guys my final thoughts and everything on the power steps. But I can say at least for right now, my initial reactions are, I really like it and it makes the truck look just 
more premium and it does add to the whole effect of the truck so that's pretty dope to know of with this truck still if you want to see one of the coolest upgrades i did to this truck check out this video right here i'll see you guys over there